Why did you do that? <laughs> he he didn't save us, so. And we didn't need a reason to lose a party member so we can get a fourth one back in. So I'm, I, I just chop liver over I here? I mean, we have like four other party members, too. <laughs> I know, that's what sets her. Am I just chop liver over here? What it's. Alright, so we've successfully not saved Terra and not saved Celeste, but we did get an airship. Well. So we got and a lot of ma magicite. Well, the thing is, we saved. Okay, we lost Celeste. Mm -hmm. We got a bunch of magicite, mm -hmm. which we needed to get because we need to go back and help Terra with it for some reason. Did we need like a bunch of magicite to help well, Terra? Is that how we were helping Terra? I think. I forget why we were going here. I, Ramu asked us to do it. I forget why, though. Yeah, I'm kind of lost on it outside of the whole, like, we need to move the plot along, but... Could you tell us, Locke? Apparently we have... You mean you him. never told him about the friggin' Returners or anything? The hell is a Returner? <laughs> why am I Spanish all of a sudden? Or vaguely European? Can you, like, fly this thing straight there, Setzer? No, I gamble with it. <laughs> Wherever the this wheel isn't goes. how you fly an airship! Wherever the wheel goes, this is where we go. <laughs> Riding towards the water, it's where the wheel goes. <laughs> you guys were in Narsh, don't you lie. Hey, so, um, who's that guy with the white hair, and, uh, where's Celeste? Yeah, I think we were supposed to get the Magicite, because it was supposed to help her, like, get her... this under control. Hmm. Vaguely. I think the idea was just to give you more... Okay, father? It was actually a particular one of those magicites that we were looking for. No. Should it be shaking like that? My ultra instinct hair is not helping <laughs> us. Oh, don't tell me I'm playing as this guy. Don't got a menu? Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's a beefy looking guy. The thing is, is that, like, this guy actually does have stats, but they don't let you check them. Hmm. So. That's a beefy looking guy. Oh. Are those, that horns are more hair on his shoulders. I, th I think that's... You know what? I ruined it for myself. Because he reminds me of, like, Goro and Shao Kahn. And I'm like... <laughs> ruined it! Ruined it, and I hate myself. Now I'm gonna go beat up semi perfect cell. Well, he pressed the Goku button. <laughs> you know what he reminds me of? Some friggin' Yu Yu Hakusho demon. He does, really. I don't know which one. It could be anything. I wanna say. kinda like either the ogres from early on, or like one of those later demons that was like mid. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. Yeah, there's like those, like almost f too much fodder. Just one of those like big, tough, demony looking guys, but is actually just kind of fodder. Maduin? Is it Maduin or Maduin? Uh, Maduin, I would guess. Maduin. Not the gate. Which is. All the way up there, but they do give me a way down here real quick. No, my vegetables. They're grown perfectly. But now they'll be ruined if something is happening. Oh, it's a lady. Yeah. Oh, so now that we've met Sid, uh, his full name is Sid Del Norte Marguez. Marguez. Don't look at me, he's 46 years old. <laughs> and man, he is a Mobius looking guy. Was, yeah, again, I'd get the book, but I'm playing right now. I like these options here. Hey, pull yourself together. Wait, is she a... I'll leave her here, is the first one. Yeah, whatever. Not my problem. i grab her real quick here. <laughs> I'm 
I'm just taken aback by some of these designs for these <laughs> characters. Just like, some odd reason, the Sylph character is just like, nope, you're gonna break there. I don't know what this weird looking guy is, though. Looks like maybe one of Ramu's family. Yeah, but is like his face just really skinny there in the middle? Feels and like he's got his arms holding. I think it's holding just, up or something. It's like maybe it's like he's doing that, but like even from the profile, his face looks like. <sighs> what about you, Wolf Guy? We'll talk later, Wolf Guy. I think we should kill it and eat it. I'm trying to see if there's a sketch of this dude. I actually don't really think there's, there's a, not. I, I don't really think there's a lot of sketches of this guy. Like, you even on did the, gain his magicite. Well, yes, but. So if you can summon him and then we'll get a better picture of him. I think even on the wiki they don't have like sketches of him. And again, this is that one that everyone said, like, they made the sprites and then Al Numa yeah, and then did, did the... the sketches. So he probably just was like, well, I don't need to do that. But she was quick to pick up on the Esper thing. It's like, what was your first guess? I mean, I don't know what you are, but you ain't human, so an Esper? How do you not even know how you got here? What's going on? Not really. I was just kind of laying there. Madeline. She used to be Madonna in the original one. Mm. But I think her name's actually just Madeline, so... Madeline. Madeline, Madeline. True. Yeah, I can... I can understand that. I feel you. <laughs> Who is this they? And let's prove them wrong. But you're so big and attractive. <laughs> and you're so small and slender. She just got here. Stop thinking with your dick. <laughs> Locke, are you sure you're not descended from the Espers? <laughs> God, they have about the same length of hair, though. <laughs> <laughs> the Elder. Oh, no. Love. I don't like the way this is going. You know what? What is the Esper culture like? They have books. Who are the writers? Who are the authors? Other Espers. Like, what is that whole deal? I almost need to know that more than anything else. Smart, uh, smart Espers. What are you doing, Elder? Get people like Ramu. They are, they're out there writing books. Oh, so you actually care about her, though, despite that, like, you kicked her out. <laughs> yes, just like stealing 40 cakes. That's four tenths, <laughs> and that's terrible. <laughs> There's my other friend down here to talk. Oh, there's a sylph up there. Well, I have to go and talk to the sylph. If I'm going by a vague timeline, I'm assuming the Gestalt Empire is just starting. Probably, because this is after the um We'll get we'll get to like the very This big is after like here. the Mage War or whatever. When they've sealed themselves off down here. Yeah, but and before they, and the, like the one Sylph just mentioned centuries have gone by, so Yeah, but before the Gestalians came by. Well, who said? I, I punched them with my muscles. Well, I think I said vaguely they, but I think it's also the fact that the Espers were like the central driving force to the War of the Magi. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, ban all the nukes. Nukes and humans can't live together. Yeah. Do not fist the android girl. <laughs> 
But what about Persona 3? What about Persona 3? <laughs> also, I think she's underage in that one, so definitely don't. Well, I mean, she's an android. She's like two. So definitely underage. <laughs> Come on, dude, you just met her. Why do you got the hots for her? And then they did the G-rated version of the horizontal mambo? Yeah, what are you doing there, guy? Flying around? That, that's just a thing you can do? What's going on? And then he swept me off my feet! Quite literally. We flew around the room. It was so magical, we immediately had a child. That's we didn't. We didn't even have to wait like through pregnancy. It was just immediate, right there. I. It's not even a joke. It's literally what's happening. And the child has grown. Oh, there it is. It's Gal. <laughs> That's where he came from. We finally figured out who Gal's father was. Oh, and Gal's been a, a girl this whole time. Wow, we were really wrong. Oh yeah, jeez. I was gonna say Tina. Well, now I know where Tara comes from. All right. Two years later. Bonk. You backed up into a wall, dude. Well, I also think somebody shot him. Oh, well, that's rough. Okay, what is with the storm, though? Do we get any background? Okay. Okay. It's <laughs> just dragging him off. Yep, ours now. That's like the 16-bit version of Punch-Out, but without the actual Punch-Out <laughs> game. Just like, uh, uh, uh. See, my first thought is, man, don't pick a fight with the fairies. Oh, God, no. The Tony and the Leafman. I know how You're lucky goes. there wasn't a second fairy around. Hey, it's the man himself. This is not the first time we've seen him, is it? No, it's not. We've seen him before. Okay. Like, okay, trying to avoid all the shaking here, do you not see a dog out of that face? I, you, no, I can see it. Okay, yeah. Absolutely. Where are these ancient texts? I'd like to know. Yeah. <laughs> I have sown. Now it is time to reap. What was that dude's name? Who? Uh, Tara's father. Maduin? It's like M-A-D-U-I-N. Maduin. Yeah, I don't think there's a random. There is not a picture here. Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of sketches of him for any You're reason. not even gonna have the friggin'... You're not even gonna put the sprite up when you summon him. Do they have, like goes to the summon specifically. Oh, look at baby Tara. That's adorable. Okay, so I can click. Oh, there we go. There's a picture of him. Buddy. Like, look at baby Tara. Look at that bone. Anyway, I gotta go kill some people. Can I zoom in on that? All right, there you go. There he is. Yeah, but no sketch. That's, that's the best. That's the best we got. I know. That's the sprite God, from when you summon like him. His hair on his shoulders. Yeah, he's got horns. He's got big. So the top ones are horns. The bottom ones are big pointy ears. Yeah, I kind of figure that one. Got hair on top of his head. He's got big pointy toes. Big pointy claws. Claw basically. toes. Otherwise, he doesn't look too far off. I'm still not sure, but I think that's hair on his shoulders. It really does. Also, real quick. Power to create a magical seal on the gate is to one bloodline, and you're the last one, and you didn't think about continuing that whole thing? Or teaching somebody else? All right, just what are you checking. asking her like she's actually going to go back? She's been living here with you, had a friggin' baby? 
It's been two years. I don't think she's going back. Look. Oh my goodness. It's my wife. I'll kill you. But yeah, two years later. Yeah, also literally any of us could have done that. Wow, way to be racist. What she did? No, oh, she did. Oh boy. I gotta go after her real quick. It is the Esper world. There was a... That's where they were the whole time. Anyway. Gotta go find wife and child. Gotta find wife and child. Wife and child. Wife and child. Hi, how you doing? Bye. Gotta go get wife and child. Later, nerds. Oh, no. This gust of wind. Hey, did a uh, did a lady and a baby come by here? I'm just checking. Anyway. <laughs> oh, who thought a gun would beat magic? There goes Terra. Bye. Oh, there goes Madeline. And Madeline. Oh, he even has a down sprite. And down. Ready. He's probably fine, right? Are you describing <laughs> the child or her? <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to do evil things with this baby. <laughs> also, you know, there's an Esper right there, unconscious, on the ground. You want to... Yeah, what are you going to do, shoot me? Ah, oh, crap. I think he karate chopped her down. She friggin' slugged her. And then they all died. I think the implication is she died there. So half Soul Reaper and then half um What's the, the arrow people? Uh crap, um Really ruins the joke when you can't remember <laughs> their names. <laughs> it's like man we had something there. I was like, I want to say a wrong car, but that's also like Nah, it's not them. No, I know it's not them, but um uh... God don't they have a German name? Crap. Quincy's. Quincy's, thank you very much. Oh, God. oh, we got it, thank heavens. God. Yeah, it's a, then half Aroncar, and then half Quincy, and then half Hollow. You can't have that many halves in there. Apparently you can! That's why he's the protagonist. He's 150% of a person. God, I hated all those reveals. I could live with the Hollow one. That was actually kind of a cute thing, because of his mother and his father and everything. Mm -hmm. But just, like... She was also a Quincy, and it's like, so he's part Quincy as well. And it was like, oh, fuck. And then the full bringer arc was just a wet fart of an end <laughs> to, like, a great arc, honestly. Wasn't the full bringer arc a, um, padding for the <sighs> anime? God, it probably was. Like, I don't think that was an original story. Oh, no, that was in the manga. Was it? Yes, it was in the manga. Hmm. That's what I thought you meant. It was, like, padding for the manga. 
and everything. I was like, it probably felt oh. like it, because it was just like... It did that whole, like, Yu Yu Hakusho thing. It's like, did you think you were the first replacement Soul Reaper and everything? It was like, oh, no. And now they have, like, all these cool powers and everything. Oh, wait, they stole it from him. Oh, wait, he got his Soul Reaper powers back yet. Nah, we went back to stick square one. I'm yeah, like, all right, never going to talk about that again. Man, that was fun for about a few months. <laughs> God, you are just Man, going down in my books just horribly. And then she killed one of them for... She, I don't think she had a choice in the matter. She could have said no, but the Empire was like, <laughs> we don't do no's. You go, Sabin. Why'd we run? Sabin could have taken him. Well, no, he couldn't have taken him. With a beard, he could have. <laughs> I don't know. We ended up not actually going there. Oh, God, he's dead. <laughs> Did Bannon just corpse just marauding? Cyan. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> oh, right. Um, we beat it. We defeated Gamblor over here. My name is Seltzer. Gamblor. All right, so we've removed Celeste as the main character, but we've reintroduced Terra as the main character. Locke is still just kind of a weirdo. Really, you're gonna trust me with this thing? Let me teach you how to fly. Press the confirm button to move forward. Change course with the left and right directional buttons. Adjust altitude with up and down directional buttons. This is a wheel. <laughs> See, this is kind of funny because you almost feel like there could be a little console there with all of this right there on it. I know, but it's literally a wheel. <laughs> Press the menu button to move inside the ship. Once inside, you can change party members and purchase items. Okay, that was a little weird. You can disembark by pressing can the cancel button. To board, press confirm near the ship. Got it? Sure. Um, I don't know what this menu button is. <laughs> Why am I hitting... Oh boy, special techniques! Can we, like, ram crap with it? Oh, is he gonna oh, strafe? Oh, so like, strafe in yeah. If I hit them both at once, do I do a roll? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let me know so I can tie shit down! Uh, this is a blimp. It cannot barrel roll. <laughs> this is an airship. This is not a blimp. Also, bull crap blimps, blimps can't barrel roll. <laughs> also, it's like a different roll. I can't remember. It's like... it's It starts with an A. But the barrel roll is like a... thing. Mm. Ah, so is, is that like a 180, or am I doing like just a... I think it's 180. Okay. Oh, and then he went into me. <laughs> nah. We'll take just the wheel. Yeah, let's take the wheel. Woo! Let's give this a shot. Okay, so... I've forgotten everything. If I hit Y... <laughs> it's just a fiery <laughs> mess going down. It's like... I didn't tell you to hit that <laughs> button. So is that game? Well, your last save. <laughs> oh my god, I actually do have to press the confirm button to go forward. This is literally it's, it's just... The woo! It's the accelerator. And now is probably the best time to take a break. Why is your... Why is your shadow red over Mel's? Oh, I can't land here. Ah. Uh, uh, let me find Narsh again, and then we'll call it. It was right there. That was the... Was that Narsh? Oh, that is Narsh. I keep forgetting it's just, like, an outside thing. It's like, here, let me find Narsh again. Literally on top of Narsh. I keep thinking it's supposed to be a town, alright? Okay, we'll work on the parties in a moment. 
out, like, next time, but I do want to go over what espers we got. We did get a lot of espers. We got Unicorn. Maduin is the first one you didn't recognize. Catoblapus. Okay, I can never. Or however you pronounce it. that. Catoblapus. Uh, is the one you did yeah. eventually recognize. Phantom, Phantom. Was, the, was the guy in the corner. Oh, the one next to Kirby? Yeah. Uh, you could have told me that, and I would have called you a liar because it looks more like a robot than a <laughs> ghost. Then Kirby, because everybody loves Kirby. Everybody loves Kirby. And the first appearance of Bismarck. Literally the first time Bismarck shows up in the series. It's a whale! <laughs> I don't know, they're whales. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> so what does Unicorn do for us? Healing Horn cures the party of most status ailments and defeats Kanikuman Mariposa. Yeah, Unicorn Head. Then you do Fire, and then you do the Robin Special version too. <laughs> I'll say, Kakura goes faster on this one. Yeah, so... <clears throat> stop trying to learn Kira on that other one. Yeah. Just I'll... swap over here and finish it off. Okay, there's a certain irony that the Kirin and the Unicorn both learn Kira, and they're basically, like, that same class of, like, mystical being. Hmm. Yeah, Protect, Shell, Asuna, this is your healer. Yeah, this is definitely the good one. Even has to spell. Yep, yep, no, it's just, I, I don't like to Protect and Shell being a one, but... That's just that. That was Unicorn. It's Maduin. Maduin, what do you do? Chaos Wave unleashes a tide of anger on enemies. So he's just a big angry guy. Man, that costs a lot of MP to do, too. I mean, I can understand why he's a big angry guy. Look at what he went through. Yeah. So he does... All, oh, cool. He does the second stage, all those things. Yeah. It's kind of a good all-around, and a decent acquisition rate, too. Yeah. And a plus one to magic on level up. Mm-hmm. So that's good. Okay. Catalbalus. Okay, this is darn well better have Petrify in it. Demon Eye petrifies all enemies. Okay, there we go. Bio. And I think Break, Break is Petrify. Petrifies. Yeah. And Death. Fitting. That cool. works. And plus eight HP plus 10% on level up. That's a lot. It, that is pretty good. I think that's why Locke got a lot of HP because I had a 10 plus. I think that was Siren. Bio's pretty good. At least it was damaging bacterial cloud that poisons the enemy. On that microscopic bacteria. Ugh. Okay, Phantom, Ghostly Veil, turns all allies invisible. You don't know where I am. Berserk. Vanish. Oh, hey! One of my favorite spells in, in the entire series. Gravity. Can never mm -hmm. kill, only reduces enemies' HP by half. Oh, that's got a good acquisition rate, too. Yeah. I think it's probably just because, you know, just to get him going. But Like, I am, I'm sure, like, bosses are immune to that. Basically. But so, that would be real good, like, hey, that's a group of enemies that's kind of annoying or has a lot of HP or whatever. Spe speaking of boss immunities, it reminds me. Um, people did say... And I did look this into this later myself, but apparently it isn't just the Phantom Train. A bunch of other bosses are actually not immune to the Meteor Strike Blitz. Hmm. It's just that the Phantom Train is the most well-known because... It's the fun one. It's the audacity of just picking up a whole train and suplexing it. Carby. Ruby Light casts Reflect on all allies. Well, I mean, what do you expect from Carby? Wow, that was some good spells. I like that one the most. Yeah, Reflect Haste is good. So, support spells. Yeah, very much support spells. Shell, Protect, and Teleport. Like the white support spells. Well, technically gray by the orbs. <laughs> Should I say red? Since that's technically in between. Bismarck. Breach Blast slams... I'm not seeing gravity immunity on bosses, but I'm sure all, they are. Slams all enemies with giant bubbles. Fun fact, outside of some releases, I think specifically the Game Boy for other stuff, literally one of... I think there's like maybe one other one, but we get it later. One of the only ways to actually cast water damage in this game. Hmm. Not ice, water. Hmm. So he does fire, blizzard, thunder, and... <gasps> Raise! Like... So, like, yeah, it's low-level spells just to kind of give you something, but yeah. Raise is the big one. Yeah. So, and plus two strength on level up. What did Kirby give? Didn't give anything. Phantom gave plus M 
MP plus 10% on raise on level up, so... Which is really good for, like, magic mm -hmm. users. But, uh... That's the espers. Party's on the ship. We'll go take care of them in a bit. Until then... Hi. I mean, we got Terra back. I miss Celeste already. Though. I... Considering we're stuck with Locke right now, I definitely miss Terra and Celeste. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can we just swap Locke out and not use him anymore? Uh, do we need Ron Jeet in this game so we can actually make Locke a likable character? 